Hey guys, it's Kathy. I hope you're having a great Sunday. I just wanted to pop in and um, just talk to you a little bit about the new customer toolkit group that we um, that we created and for you. And I wanted just to give you a couple more tips on how to use it and then um, tell you about a ribbon cutting that's gonna be taking place tomorrow at 12 noon. So I'll wait for um, some of you to grab your seats and get into the group so we can do a little bit of chatting. And I'll go ahead and take this Facebook um, live feed, this, this training over in the group also. So since it's about the, the customer toolkit, we'll store it there as, as well. Hey, Holly, how are you? Sandra, oh my goodness gracious, I hope you rested up from your vendor event yesterday, Sandra. I know you were really tired. Hi, Veronica, how are you? I'll see you Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, this is so nice to have you guys join me. And I know Sunday's a little bit difficult because it's probably more of a family day for you guys. And I do apologize. I just wanted to make sure I could come in before tomorrow because that's when we're going to do a kind of an official ribbon cutting of this group. Hey, Karen. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Um, I want to show you this really cute pen. Do you guys see this? Isn't it adorable? So this is from Jenny Cassidy, one of our leaders. And, um, and you can tell what she actually did a DIY. She created this pen. How cool is that? And she took and put all these beads in a bowl or a plate. And then she, I'm sure, just glued, put glue on the outside of the pen, then rolled it. And I love the different colors. And each color, she told me, symbolized someone on her team. So she actually created the colors, and I think it was for her leaders, to tell you the truth. And then um, each color represented a personality of her, one of her leaders when she made these pens for her leaders. And she, and she gave me one, which I thought was really just so fun. Yep. Yeah. And then how cute is this? I've got to show you this tab, this, um, this book for my notes. It says, from the creative genius of Kathy Yellett. Somebody else, Rachel, gave me that um, at, the, at leadership also, the leadership retreat also. I love tablets. I love things, especially when they're lined like this. Isn't that fun to have something lined? Anyway, and I was running low on my other tablet that I put in my, my travel purse, so I love that. All right. Hey, Lenore, how are you? Hey, Kira. Hope you guys are having a wonderful sun Sunday. It's rainy here and cold, so I'm not real um, motivated to do a whole lot. Um, usually I like to, to be out and in and out and in, but um, it's not working out today. Anyway, all right, I'm just going to wait for two more minutes, and then we'll go ahead and get, and we'll get started. And this is going to be a really quick call. I just wanted to, again, just to kind of update everybody. I know we talked a little bit about it yesterday during the call with Heather, which wasn't that fabulous. Um, I'm preparing for regional training, my regional training schedule that I'm doing for 2018, and I'm planning on bringing some of Heather's ideas, visuals, out to the field with me when I do the regional training. And by the way, make sure you know that if you're a director, you can um, you can put in for a regional training in your area, so um, and a spa escape to accompany it. So if you're interested at all, just, you know, contact me, we'll chat about it, and then you can see if it's something that you want to put um, put together. It takes some time, of course, but so worth it, because then I get to come out and visit with you guys and train, yeah. Um, oh, heading to your daughter's for dinner, Lenore, awesome. Goodness, my kids don't live close, so, well, I shouldn't say that, my son does, but I can't expect him to, I don't know why I say that, why did I say that? He wouldn't make dinner, anyway. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I hope by now all of you are in the Lemongrass Spa Customer Group Toolbox. So I send an invitation out. All of you should be in the toolbox. And a couple things I want to mention. First of all, um, if, if it were me, I would go to the different albums. And the two albums I think are probably going to be the most important for you to start with are the Planning and Social Media album and the Hashtag albums. Because those are training tools. Those are actually tools that we have, albums that we've created training for you. So I would start with those two albums. And I don't know if you've noticed, when you go to the album, the name of the album, like we've got Wednesday, Monday, Interaction, Welcome Post, when you click on that album, I've actually given you 
for the for most of the albums hashtags you can use for that particular album if you're using the graphics in there and I've also given you a description on that album so if you see the word planning in social media and you click on it you'll notice that um, I I say behind every success story in virtually any walk of life is an effective plan so again I've done that on every single album so take the time to go through and click on the albums, see what I've written up up at the top, a capture or the caption for that album, and then um, the posts, the graphics that I've actually added do have your language already there for you. And because they're going into your groups, I really don't care if you modify my language whatsoever because they're gonna be in groups. So nobody's gonna see them posted on walls. If you decide to put on your business page, then yes, I will ask you to tweak my language because it's going to go public. But if you're going to simply post these into your your customer groups, then of course, it's inside those tucked inside those customer groups. So it's kind of just for you and them to for their for their eyes only. So I don't mind you don't have to do any tweaking whatsoever. Um the other thing I wanted to um, just remind you of is that everyone needs a group, and especially with the Facebook, the way they've done their changes, and they're doing that baiting things. You can't bait. You can't say, press yes if you like this. You're not allowed to do that. I mean, I still see some companies supporting it, and it's going to be pretty soon. I think we're going to find that there's going to be some fallout. So my suggestion is you don't say um, post below with a yes or comment below with a yes. Um, what I would suggest is that you say if you'd like to, you know, use the link in the comment section. So always invite them to use a link or invite them to take a closer look at the catalog and you can use a catalog link. But I wouldn't do the, um, you know, the bait posting where, you know, tag your friend, um, you know, press yes if you like this. That's where a lot of the problems are going to start occurring now that Facebook has started to say, you know what, it's got to be more about social than it's got to be about trying to grab people and bait them in to your to your time timeline or your news feed, I should say. So groups are going to be the key to these changes. I mean, you have Guys, you have a contained audience inside this group, and there are so many ways to get that group's attention because they're all like-minded. I mean, did you know, I just found this out, that Norwex, um, if you, if all the Norwex consultants, all the way up through the high level, they're encouraged to have groups. However, you can't be in a group, a Norwex group, if you've not purchased. You have to first be a customer to be in a group. So it can't be somebody inviting a friend in to take a closer look at Norwex. It has to be someone that has already purchased through Norwex to be able to go into that group. And, and I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but I'm saying it goes with the mentality or the theme that um, you have like-minded individuals in this group who have experienced something from you and are all looking for more, right? So think about it. I don't know if you realize this. Um, if you update the cover of your group, everybody in that group receives a notification. If you create an event, like if you do a mystery host in the group, everybody receives that notification. Um, and anytime you add a value, you do a poll in that group, you'll see that everybody gets a notification. Um, asking questions is really important. And I've got a, um, in the albums, I've got an interaction, um, which has a lot of different, do you like this or do you like this? And I mean, you can tell a lot from somebody that makes a choice between a Coke and a Pepsi, because typically they'll tell you why. So they won't just say women have a, have a, you know, are notorious for not, not just making a comment. They have to tell you why they made that comment. Um, so again, you know, you want to have some fun, engaging questions, and that's a really great place to start when you're, when you're starting to, you know, see what type of individuals. And then pay attention to your analytics. How many of you have posted a certain time of day just because it's convenient for you and have never tracked to find out how many comments you got and then post it again? another time of the day to see how many comments you got that day, that time of day, or in the evening. So I know that um, in the um, social media part, in the, one of the, um, the albums, in the social media album, we have got, um, let me pull it up here, planning in social media. There's actually a link 
that talks about um, the times to post on Facebook. So that's the other reason why I directed you there when you start to get into this group is because there's a link there and it actually talks about Eastern time zones, Saturday and Sunday being some of the most popular times. Heather had mentioned that um, on our call yesterday. So again, but you wanna do your own analytics because you live in a different time zone and you may have a lot of individuals, maybe they work outside the home and maybe they check in Facebook in the morning before they, while they're waiting to, to start work at six o'clock in the morning or at seven thirty, so make sure you're watching to see you're you're doing some analytical analytics of your own to see what your customers are looking at and the time of day they're looking at it. So um, again, so test a few times during the day. Um, uh, let's see, and bring value. We talked about that. I've said that quite a few times in these in these different um, albums that I've added for you guys, that it really is adding value. I mean, the relationships that you are trying to form with your customers are so much more sustainable when they when they don't think you're out for money. And that's why I love some of the, um, one of the albums that I created has to do with things like, how do you fold a sheet? And, um, you know, somebody else posted about, you know, kids eating certain types of food and how many calories are in there. It's all about what we are trying to do for our life, which is healthy, less stress. I mean, I know folding a sheet isn't stressful, but it's just some fun things. So make sure you guys are, you know, having those kind of posts go in during the day also. Um, you know, it's fun things that, sh that help them. Um, and again, styling tips do's and don'ts, shortcuts, recipes. I mean, you've tried a recipe. Some of you are, you know, doing the keto eating plan. I mean, that would be a great thing to say. I've just started this plan. Is anybody else out there doing it with me? And you'll get a lot of people that say, I'm with you. Or have you started gluten-free? You know, um, again, these are, they want to know about you. And it's not just about the mascara you're wearing or the specials that Lemongrass Spa is offering. It's about what's going on in your life and the life of others in your family and in your community of customers. You can certainly, you know, shout out with a customer and not use their full name and say, yeah, we just did a party and maybe she's not in your group, but you can ex tell them about the experience you had at that party. You know, um, she had this great recipe. I couldn't wait to get it. Um, as soon as I get it, I'll put it in here for you guys. So again, this is a journey they're taking along with you with not just the products. Um, you want your audience to become evangelists for your product spreading the good word about you everywhere. And then the other thing I'm gonna encourage you to do, we talked about this yesterday, if you're in the middle of making dinner and you decide to post something, asking for you know uh, an engagement or a comment or a question, something like that, um, you want to say, you know, I'm going to post this. I'll be back later tonight to respond. Um, so they're not sitting there posting and posting and wondering where in the heck, where in the heck are you? So if you can't respond right away, tell them that. Tell them I'm coming back tonight. I can't wait to see your responses. You must make sure that you have a genuine response and, um, you know, and you're treating your audience with just care. The care and feeding of these of these individuals is so important in these groups. So again, that means when you ask questions, you need to give your audience feedback on their response. If you notice when you guys respond in the community group and you respond in the Coffee with Kathy group, and now in our new um, customer group toolbox, when you respond, I try not only to respond back to you, but I tag you. That's the that's my 2018 um, you know goal is to when I respond to always do the at sign and the person's name and. Um, and, and so they know that I have taken the time to use their name. And that's huge. You guys know that. When you talk to somebody, when you use their name, it seems to really be, you know, kind of a big deal. So, you know, make sure you're doing some tagging. If you want to call someone out with a compliment, tag them. And make this just 2018 is going to look a lot different for a lot of you in these community, these customer groups. Now, I want to spend just a few minutes on that um, that graphic that I put in there that showed my friend Leslie, and it showed her with her farm at her farmette. And you noticed um, it's a very casual, very warm feeling um, photo, right? Well, let me tell you what what she did back in December. She took that photo and she placed it on her personal and business page, and then she said this. Um, Hold on a second, let me get it. At the intersection of life, our journey begins. I want to share my journey with you on my new online community page just in time 
for a new year. I have renamed my page Life Skates with, Skates with Leslie, and I will be sharing not only my love of Pampered Chef and eating healthy, but I will also be sharing my love of gardening, my chickens, home life, and so much more. And I want you to share this journey with me. Now, she did say, drop a raised hand emoji, comment yes, and I will add you to the new community group. She said, please, no consult Pamper Chef consultants. Now, with this whole Facebook changes, I'm thinking we don't want to tell them to raise hand or emoji or yes, because that's the kind of baiting that Facebook is saying we don't like. So again, my encouragement to you is you just say, um, you know, please use the link below and follow us, follow others over, you know, to this journey with you or to my group or whatever you want to call it, however you want to say it. But what I love about this is Leslie's been with the Pampered Chef now. You met her. She did the the um, the Facebook training, Facebook virtual virtual Facebook training with us, um, and it's in the mock Facebook group. So she's been with the company for twenty some years, and so. Um, she knew that she had to make a difference in her community group, in her customer group. And there's a whole group of them that recognized that it was kind of just stale. And so what she did is she worked with somebody professional, and this is what they told her to post on her page, on her personal page. So she posted this, and there were quite a few of them that posted similar, not identical, but similar. And what I found interesting is I stopped counting at 147 yeses or add me, add me. I just stopped counting because it was ridiculous. And that was within three days. So she posted this on a Monday and by Wednesday, she had 147 people say, add me. Now I'm in her group and um, yesterday she went live and um, and I, she posts every day and it's just something different. A recipe, a health food um, thing. One time she actually was in there live cleaning her dishwasher with a healthy ingredient instead of using what you usually use to clean a dishwasher. So um, yesterday she went live and she went out and picked some eggs from her chicken coop. And um, while I was watching her, she had a hundred people watching her pick those eggs and she talked about the different kind of chickens, etc. So she truly has taken her Pamper Chef journey of teaching people how to live healthier with the recipes and the cooking classes that she offers. And she's created this other side that her customers are seeing. She didn't create, she's allowed her customers to see this other side of her. And that's where I'm going to encourage you guys. So I want you to do this. I want you to think about um, your cover photo. What does it look like? Because this was what Leslie put on her personal page and her cover, cover photo actually has a small segment of that photo. It doesn't have her daughter or the dogs or anything, but it shows her farmette because again, it was lifescapes, lifescapes with Leslie. Um, so my encouragement to you is think about your life. Think about what you would want your group to know about when they come into that. And it's not gonna be about sales. Um, I mean, you're gonna offer that, but you really want them to know about you because People join you, they book from you, they sell from you, they refer their friends to you. So what you're gonna find is this group, now that we're redoing it with this new customer group toolbox that we're helping you with, it's your now it's your turn, it's your chance to take a look at what your group represents. So does the cover photo need to be changed? Does it? Does your about need to be changed? In fact, let me read you what, um, what Leslie wrote about when she wrote the about. I thought this was just, um, was really so great. And again, it's rather, it's rather long, but what I loved about it is the fact that um, she, what she did is she, um, she told them about her, her, um, her life as they entered the group. So, and I think she added, she might still have it on a pin post, maybe not, but, um, you know, but, you know, she's telling them about it. So let me see if I can find this. Hold on a second. Oh shoot, hold on. I have so many emails from her. Okay, so in her group, as they enter, um, now this was when she would, again, she had, she probably had, I don't know how many she had before, but she added 500 with this new, <laughs> this new, you know, ad, she added 147 in three days. 
So then she added, and again, it all, it's all depending on how many people you have as followers on your personal page and in your business, on your business page. So that's true. She does have a lot of individuals, but she added 500 new ones. And, um, again, so she created a new cover photo and this is what she said. Hi there. I'm super excited to take this community in a new direction, just in time for a new year. I renamed my page and then she renamed it and we'll be sharing not only my love of pamper chef and eating healthy, but I also want to be sharing my love of gardening, chickens, home life, and so much more. I want to take a step back and introduce myself for those that are new members of this community and even some existing ones who want to go get to know me a little better. She talked about the fact that she's been married to 33 years. She has two children. She talked about her son turning 27 on Christmas Day. Talked about he was married and lives 10 minutes from her. Um, she lives on a seven and a half acre farmette. She said, yes, real word. Our house was built in 1851 in beautiful Carroll County, Maryland. She talks about she enjoys back raising backyard chickens, gardening, sitting on our porch, taking in the beautiful landscape. She talks about her two crazy dogs. And she, just, uh, she says, well, enough about me. What are some of your interests? So that's what her welcome was. And I loved it because I watched people say, I love this. I love this. Um, and they just talked about all different things as they came into her group. So my, my goal today was to prepare you for a ribbon cutting that we're going to be doing tomorrow. We have, we have Lindsay Tompkins, who is an extension of Belinda Ellsworth's training. And Lindsay does all kinds of training for us. And she especially does Facebook group training. And so um, customer, group, customer group training. So tomorrow I've asked her, with Heidi's permission, I asked her if she would come over and do a training for us for 30 minutes at 12 noon Eastern time. Now that's going to happen over in this new group. So it's going to be in the Lemongrass Spa Customer Group Toolbox. She's going to come live. And so I want you guys to mark it on your calendar. We're going to store it. In fact, I'm thinking about I might even create it as a pinned post for quite a while. So everybody coming in that you add, that gets added, will be able to watch her training. But the most important thing I want to leave you guys with today is I want you to rethink what if you open the door physically to your group and they would have a first impression based on your cover photo and based on what you're, you're telling them if they said, tell me a little bit about yourself, what would they see? What would that group be like for them? Because really that's what happens. It's another way because you have a captive audience, um, you have a contained group of, of individuals who have accepted your invitation, it's like having an in-home party. You invite them and they come. Some will and some won't, but you always extend the invitation. And that's the other thing I wanna make sure you guys are remembering from yesterday's training. Your invitation to join your group with a little brief verbiage on why they wanna join your group should go on every single thing that goes out. If you send an email out, you wanna say, and by the way, if you send a message out to somebody because they've asked a question, oh, by the way, I'd love to invite you. And you always want to do that invitation to everybody. Your business page should always be having an invitation that says if you want to take a closer look, you want to know more, almost like a teaser. And the same with your personal page. You are more than welcome to set, put something on your personal page and then give a little enough of a teaser that they have that, you provide that link and they get to go into welcome. They get to be welcome into your customer group to get all the rest. It's kind of like Paul Harvey, the rest of the story. And I know we used to do it at Pamper Jeff all the time. We would post a recipe with no instructions and we would get all the ingredients and we'd say for the rest of the story, your instructions go to my customer group and they had to click on it and enter the customer group. So I love the fact that there are so many ways we can use our personal page now to tell stories and the rest of the story happens in our customer group. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm here for you every step of the way. The most important thing I want to see you guys do for 2018 is be as intentional as you can in that customer group because that's where everyone is going to get to know you a lot better than they could ever know you on your business page. Well, maybe not your personal page, but again, 
Everybody in their customer group has accepted that invitation. So they are all waiting just to be loved on and to have information and just for you to show up and be present. So if you have any other questions, let's see. Um, oh yeah, Heidi, hey Heidi. Oh my gosh, Heidi, I watched your, I always had tears in my eyes, Heidi, when I watched your, your Facebook post, um, your video just a few minutes ago. I mean, seriously. I was dabbing at my eyes. You were so sincere. And you know, guys, if you haven't had a chance to watch it, it's over in the community group. And I don't think Heidi's put it as a pin post. She should. But go over and just use the search and search for Heidi. Because if that doesn't grab at your heart and say to you, there are others out there that need this message from Heidi, you won't be able to give them the same results that you've been given if you don't invite them to join us. So I really want to make sure you do that. And by the way, now look at what we're offering all of your new consultants. We're offering them training, not only on the, on the virtual parties, training on in-home parties. Now we're offering them training on customer groups. I mean, there is nothing they're, they're going to be lacking when they come on board with Lemongrass Spa. And listen, I came from another direct sales company, and this is in no way bashing them. But I have said to Heidi time and time again, we never have this kind of field training, ever. So I'm excited that I get to be the one chosen to do this with you guys, for you guys. So anyway, yeah, tomorrow the ribbon cutting with Lindsay is going to be fabulous. Um, so anyway, guys, let me see if there's any other questions, if you guys have anything. Probably not. Okay, April says she loves having her daughter on her cover photo, probably because she's highlighting the top products to you. Yeah, I mean, it says that you have a family that is part of Lemongrass Spa. And guys, you are welcome to change that cover photo with every season. I mean, how fun would it be for you to change it with the spring? So as soon as the, the calendar says it's the first day of spring, what would spring look like for your family with, with some of the things that your family does? And it's not that you want, you have to eliminate Lemongrass Spa, but it should be less about the products and more about the journey. So that's where I really want to make sure you guys have that. The same thing with your your um, your your profile photo. I know you love um, some of our... Um, the different things that we offer in the way of graphics, but you know, that doesn't talk about you. It talks about the company. And we really want to brand ourselves because Lemongrass is behind us, just giving us the opportunity to be who we are. However, you don't want to be branded as Lemongrass Spa. You want to be branded as Kathy, a consultant with Lemongrass Spa that supports you with the variety of ways that we support you. So, um, so again, look at your look at your profile photo also, and make sure that it does have something that is you know connecting with everyone. All right, let's see. Anything else? Hey, Tara. Oh, April, I'm glad you're loving the group. I know it can be a little overwhelming. That's why I wanted to come in today and ask you to start with those um, those two albums in particular. And then make sure you're looking at the language that I've offered you guys when you go into each album. They're all identified with the with um, what that album represents. And then I've given you, excuse me, in some way, in some of the albums, I've given you your hashtags. Yep. Emma says, I have a water challenge event going on in my group right now, motivating and encourage each other to drink the proper amount of water each day to improve overall health and, and skin. Emma, I've got one of those too. I put those in one of your albums. I've actually given you, I've tried to give as much um, scientific information along with the relationship connector language. So I want you guys to know, I want you guys to be known for, oh my gosh, she knows everything. You know, she gave this, this website. I love the one, I know I'm digressing, I love the one where I showed the Pioneer Woman and her refrigerator the way she she categorizes and and has her refrigerator put in order because that's something I always oh my gosh I always struggle with when I need something it's always in the back and I'm thinking I use it every day why don't I pull it out from through the front so she does that so that's one in one of the albums also yep all right oh Adrian you are so welcome perfect oh I want to say one more thing and then I promise I'll get off you can schedule these posts. So I'm thinking maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, you go ahead and schedule the posts that you know you want to be for that particular day. You go ahead and schedule it. You have that scheduling feature inside your customer groups. 
you have that calendar so schedule it now that might be something that you know you want to do every morning and then maybe you come back in midday and you just do some conversation maybe you've done laundry and that sheet folding is something that you want to bring in later that day I mean you don't want to be in there a lot but you want to be in there enough with a different um, you know opportunity for them to know what's going on and are they having the same day, right? So again, make this just relationship connectors and journeys and just so fun that they will want to stay put and they will want to look forward to every single time that you show up. All right. Um, oh, yeah, no, Emma, everybody should be in the group. In fact, the, the no, absolutely. I Everybody that was in the Coffee with Kathy got the invitation by clicking on that um, That that group that I put in there, the group info. Um, yeah, it's everybody should, everybody wants to be in there by 12 noon tomorrow. So make sure you are in there. I've been, as he says to me, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I've got more people to add to this group. Every time I turn around, there's like 11 and 17 and 27. So um, yeah, it's open for business. I mean, I put a post in Coffee with Kathy that we're open for business. So absolutely get everybody in there. Um, and you, everybody wants to be there by 12 noon tomorrow. And then, of course, as you start to add your new team members this month um, with a $50 rebate, um, then you want to go ahead and, or signing bonus, sorry, now, then you want to go and add them. Coffee with Kathy, the Mock Facebook group, and now this um, this Lemongrass Spa Customer Tool Group Toolbox. So anyway... So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, oh, I think she verifies they're active before she adds. Um... Uh, no, April, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, I just, most of them, if I, I've said, um, I've had very few that I've had to um, check because I've got the link from approving from Coffee with Kathy and the community group. So if, if they're in one of the two groups, they're automatically put in and then I'm just welcoming them. So it's a welcome. It's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not um, verifying they're active. No, I, I don't have time for that. So, um, but Probably should, but nope, not going to happen this time. Anyway, so I hope this, guys, I'm just loving being able to spend a Sunday afternoon with you. I hope you feel the same way. And just know that if you need anything at all, I'm here for you. And um, 12 noon tomorrow um, with a ribbon cutting. And give me some feedback. And don't forget, um, if you have any graphics you're not sure about, please see me before you add them. Because we're going to be a little more picky, if you will, um, about the graphics that go in because we want everyone to have just the best ever to go out into their community, into their customer group. So, um, all right, guys, I'm so excited for this group. Heidi, thank you so much for allowing me to take this idea and run with it. I appreciate it. And um, I'm so thankful that our leaders will be popping in also and helping us out. They're certainly rock stars in, in their groups, right? All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for taking the time. Love you guys so much, and um, I'll see you tomorrow at 12 noon. All righty, bye-bye.